Hello Floss Tube. It has been a month since I talked to you last. So what has happened in my life since then? <clears throat> this is Stasha, by the way. So what has happened in my life? Utah State Fair. Fire and Ice took first place in the cross stitch um, over, over, over 16 stitches per inch. So it doesn't matter if you do linen or Ada, they count stitches per inch. Comic-Con happened, and I got to work with Herbert. I got to meet Catherine Tate, who signed the Who Quilt. I haven't stitched on yet, so you don't have, so we don't have it. <clears throat> I had her sign the Who Quilt, and then she says, oh, here, you need something to remember it. So she handed me a picture, so I got two autographs for the price of one. I got to work with... Um, Jason and <clears throat> I am captain over the voice actors and Salt Lake Comic Con brings in the Humane Society with puppies so that people can de-stress in between you know think about it if your job were to meet and sign autographs for thousands of people well maybe okay hundreds of people they can go through several hundred people in a couple hours but how nervous are you going to get meeting every single person like that? <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize that celebrities are people too. And a lot of them have, have anxiety issues. Salt Lake Comic Con brings the puppies in for that. You may have seen pictures from John Barrowman of the puppy he adopted while he was here. Well, there was another puppy that Richard Horvitz was looking at. And every day, he would I would ask him, is there anything I can get you? He goes, where's my puppy? <clears throat> His wife was like, no, you can't have the dog. Anyway, it was a fun situation. And when he signed my, my autograph for me, he asked for his puppy. So where is Zim's puppy? And I am Zim, Richard Horvitz. And yes, the Zim voice is his regular speaking voice. That is his actual speaking voice. So what else happened since the last time we talked? Fruit bell pull. Look, pears are all done. Cherries are started. <clears throat> Year of whips. I said I was going to finish six things. Um, finish four. Not going to get fruit bell pull finished by the end of October. And the other one I was going to work on, Dragon Ride. Yeah, not going to finish that by the end of October either. <clears throat> and I am not sure I'm going to participate in the next year of whips. I'll still I'll still watch soulful stitching and and be on this the the Facebook page. But I <clears throat> I don't know. I just I've decided I really don't like participating in sales. I don't like participating in the contest type things except for maybe stitch from stash. I, I, I like the budget thing because I've actually had a couple cases where it's like, oh, I should get that. And then it's like, oh, I don't have a budget for it. So sti Stitch from Stash is good for me. It at least keeps me sane on my spending. But other things that, <clears throat> that I worked on, my travel piece got a little bit. There are letters now. Speaking of travel, I will be going to Atlanta at the end of this week. My employer has given me the opportunity to either relocate to Atlanta or find a new job by April. So um, we're taking the trip. My husband and I are going to go down to Atlanta and take the trip. And I understand there are no cross stitch shops, but there are two needlepoint shops. We're going to check out the two needlepoint shops and see is it really worth giving up Shepherd's Bush. Or being close enough to pick up from one, two, three stitch. I would have to start paying shipping for one, two, three stitch. So, <clears throat> purchases. I went to Joann's to get a couple, a couple of flosses that I was missing for for fruit bell pull. I ran out of uh, five twenty and uh, one other. 
anyway, there were two two flosses I ran out of, so I went to pick those up. And while I was there, I found these cute little kits. And I just loved the verse on it. So, let me put this up. So there it is. It's pre-printed, and you just backstitch along it, or and they've got they've got colors you can color in the birds, or you can leave them as they are. Haven't decided. I, I'm definitely going to backstitch the words, but I love the verse. What if I fall? Oh, my darling, what if you fly? And you know, how many of us just don't try? You know, we think, we think of what we'd like, and then we start thinking of all the obstacles. And instead of thinking, how do I get past these obstacles, and putting, putting ourselves in the situation of, oh, okay, if this obstacle happens, what will I do? We just get stuck, and we don't even try. So I'm doing that, I'm doing two of these, one for each of my boys, and then I saw this one, they, I wanted to get three because I have three kids, but I thought this one would work for my daughter. So that, so this is what I'm working on for her, it says she believed she could, so she did. And then I also picked up the ornament issue. and. I have to admit, I have not even looked through the ornament issue. I, it's just one of those things that I already, I have all of them. <clears throat> I have all the ornament issues they've ever issued. So you just buy it. And I am looking through it right now. And, oh, that one would be cute. That'd be easy. There's a bell pull here that's kind of nice. Okay, tell you what. Okay, there's the first set of ornaments. There's the second set. Can you see those? Yep. Oh, the penguin is it's three different penguins. Ah! Sorry, guys. Don't look at the chart. You don't know what colors they are anymore. Anyway. And honestly, if you have to pause and work off of a YouTube picture rather than going and spending the $8 for a magazine, there's something just flat out wrong with you here. So... <clears throat> That's the next set. I'm not quite sure I like any of the Santa ones there. I like the one, the Christmas tree one. It kind of reminds me of the tr tree sweat so there's under the evergreen. There's the next set. Blame it on the elves is kind of cute. Dragon Dreams Balance one. Yeah, that's kind of cute too. Number three was the Fern Ridge Collections Under the Mistletoe. So, and I think that that looks. That's more just making an ornament. There's actually no stitching, stitching on it. Frosted Pumpkin, their North Pole one was on that page. And it's kind of cute. That's got to be in ink circles. I love that ink circles. I wonder what fiber she used. bunch on here that I really like. I like the Debbie's Designs Gilded Snowflake. Um, 
the bell ornament from, from Custom Cross Stitch. Number six is Rosewood Manor. I really like that one. Um, Marilyn Vrell, however you say her name, for Stony Creek. Blackwork Journey Silver and Gold. That one's nice too. Silver on one side, gold on the other. I, I, I like that one. Actually, I like all of those. <clears throat> okay, next picture. I think I can pass on all of those ones. I don't know, the Noel. No, no well might jump out, and that's it. Okay, so unless I can figure out how to use an editor, because YouTube doesn't have an edi editor anymore, that's it. That's all I've got for you this this one this month. Now, if I can figure out how to use an editor, I am <clears throat> going to send. I'm going to give you pictures of the pieces that I have hanging in my house. So you can see how I framed things and how I finished things. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you about is um, if you like florals, go check out the Silver Lining website. I Normally I don't like florals, but I have got a list now of like 10 patterns that I want from Silver Lining. And I couldn't figure out how to order from the website, so I just sent a note in the contact us. And Mark, who's the designer, answered back and said, Oh, just let me know which ones you want. And I'll tell you the prices. And I'm like, Oh, this is dangerous. So I will... I may end up with some silver lining pictures next time. But if not, um, talk to you next time. I mean, we're already in the middle of October. Actually, we're almost to the end of October. Hopefully, I will some stitching done on Fruit Bell Pole and be able to report back to you on that. Um, if anything, I'll go ahead and report on my trip to Atlanta this week and how the shops were in that. But other than that, if I figure out how to use an editor, you will see pictures afterwards. And if I don't, then you won't. Oh, one thing before I leave. Okay, so McKenna posted that uh, she had gotten a comment about her cleavage. Okay, first off, I love McKenna's stuff. Oh, you didn't see my t-shirt this time. This is my t-shirt this time. Um, <clears throat> I just have the camera at a different angle so you don't see my t-shirt today. Um, so McKenna posted this, somebody gave her a comment about showing too much cleavage and a couple people posted back that, no, no, my husband loves watching your floss tube. That's the one you'll watch with me. My husband's one that'll watch McKenna with me too. If you haven't seen McKenna and Pepe, they're great. But I was just wondering, does your significant other ever watch Floss Tube with you? And if so, are there any people that they like to watch or any ones that they don't like to watch? I'm just curious about that, so let me know. And other than that, thanks for watching. And if, like I said, if I find out how to do the, uh, do the editor thing, you'll see pictures of my finished projects following this. Thanks everyone. Bye.